What's up, guys? Welcome back, Kiwi from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. This is a request from Emmanuel on Patreon. Let's go. On landscape page, use pencil, racer, hit pause if I go too fast. He asked. I've done a close up of her, but he wanted like just a straightforward portrait. So let's go for it. Landscape page. Center point of my page is about here. Eyes are just slightly above on the right hand side. Real spiky looking eyes, right? So we go diagonal. And then we go across. And this has a big curve that come up here on the side, right? Like a big spike. And then this will go down diagonal back in towards the tear duct, a slight curve there. So we have an extra line just here off the eye that way. And then we can just thicken up some sections on the top eyelid and that corner, that big spiky corner area. So it's like a big eyelash going that way. So our iris, just a pink half circle, just there. No eyelid lines drawn in. So, hmm, does she need eyelid lines? I would, I would do some eyelid lines. So, say like here, we'll just give her sort of an eyelid line like that. And then her eyebrow is above. Just going up, very thin, spiky. Goes under her hair. There's a bit of a nose line just here. And then we'll go over and do the other eye. So see the white of her eye, measure that. That'll be your distance between the two eyes. So your next one will start like here. So here to here, it's about the same as here to here, right? So about eye width over, and eye will fit in here easily, okay? So then, top eyelid line, coming across, and then again, big spiky section in the corner, and then it comes down, across into the tear duct, he can thicken up some of those lines now, especially on the top. And this big eyelash. And we'll add that extra sort of spike line that they seem to like doing in this anime. And then her iris. Just here. And we'll go with an eyebrow eyelid line on this. So just like curving across here. And then our eyebrow again goes up. Just a line like that. And then you can add a section just so we can color it in sort of blonde just there. now right so her mask so we got this big mask coming across the nose down this way It goes down behind her neck collar area, so it curves down around here. And so her collar will come across this. So you don't sort of see it all. Yes, yeah, so this kind of curves and goes down. Lines inside, just 
trace around the outside of that mask again. And then we have some top lines there. And say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four vents. We make them a little bit thicker, so we're just so like that there's shadows inside. Like so. Okay, so she has, you can't see her ears or anything. She just has a fringe and then the hair that comes down the side of her face, right? So her fringe, see these square kind of spikes, right? That just come down across her hair here. And then long pieces of hair that come down the side of her face. So we'll just go. Like that. And then on this side. Like that. And then we can just see some more mask inside, right? So it kind of goes across, steps up, move it around there. Some of her fringe as well, actually there and then this just like that and then the edge of her mask down there steps down goes into that collar then so the rest of her collar you can just see it in behind and then the mask on that side there it kind of steps in here. So there's like some patterns and stuff on this. Like circles here. Like that. So in the rest of her hair, so we've got like a bob, sort of like round kind of hair. And then this just goes all the way up around. Okay, so like in general, eyes are about halfway down the head, right? If there was no hair, you know, she was bald. So like say, her top of her skull would be there. So that to the chin, where her chin would be, would be about halfway. So here to here and there to there. And then some a bit of room for hair on top then. Eyes in general are halfway down the human skull. So rest of her color, comes out the side here and she's got what looks like buckles on the side down there buckles or belts or something there and then this has a rim and then like some bumps and stuff coming out faux lines
and what looks like black straps. Then her shoulder going that way and like one black strap or something here. And this jacket line seems to keep going down that way. Shoulder that way. And I think that's everything. That's how to draw Kiwi from Cyberpunk. Hope it's helpful, Emmanuel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.